So flat picking a guitar. I'm going to talk about uh, both the right hand and the left hand. So when you're holding a pick, what you want to do is you want to make sure that this thumb and your index finger are lined up and you're basically holding the pick in between. Your index finger isn't pointed, your thumb isn't pointed towards the point of the pick. They're perpendicular to the pick. To the pointy part of the pick. Now when you're strumming, you usually angle the pick depending on which way you're strumming. But when you're picking, your pick is really perpendicular to the strings. It's making like a T. I'm not holding it so tight that it has absolutely no give, but I'm holding it pretty firm. And um, uh, I tend to, most bluegrass pickers pick with a pretty hard pick. So uh, you want a, a thicker pick. Steve Kaufman, I think, is the only person that I know that, that doesn't, doesn't pick with a hard pick. Now the other component is quarter notes are down strokes. And sixteenth notes are down up. And there's all sorts of different variations on on practicing those those pick exercises. There's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then back down, you want to go back down. Now I'm going to talk about the foundation. There will be times to break these rules, but on the down on the beat, your downstroke is always down, down, down. So, so that's what you'd do if it was if your your uh, your one beat was on that off beat. You don't go. You go down, up, 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 down, and soon you'll get to understand just automatically, oh yeah, that is an offbeat, it's going to be an upstroke. But right now, just really think of those. And then, yeah, so, so I did the four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can also do two. You can skip strings. exercises to get not only the the, uh, the down up down stroke concept but also where your strings are now uh, oh also uh, some people float I'm not very good at it I kind of need to plant my fingers because I'm a banjo player that's where but you'll see different guitar players do different things. Dan Zeminski is a floater, I know, for example. But uh, there's many pickers who also plant. So whatever is more comfortable with you is what I would suggest. Um, if you float, you get a little better tone because you're not dulling the, the head of the guitar. But that's, that is what I would suggest. Now, so, left hand. There are three things. First off, there's just the simple Freddy. You don't want to push too hard. And you want to be relatively close to the fret. You don't want to be back here. You want to be closer to the fret. And you just press until it's a clean note. That's the pressure that, that you should be playing with. If you push too hard, you actually bend the note out. 
of pitch. And also it's hard on your fingers. Um, now, so there's that fret. <clears throat> now there's a slide. And a slide is vital to bluegrass guitar. It sounds very easy, but there's a lot going on. So one is you don't want to do a gross motor skill. You don't want to move your whole arm like this. What you want to do is your wrist movement. So it's like this. And the timing on a slide is extremely important. You don't want to slide too slow. Otherwise it goes do do do. You want a, a quick slide. And there's three different ways you can do a slide. If you're thinking of it as a quarter, as, of each note is a sixteenth note. There's your one sixteenth note and there's where you're ending it up. That's a very do 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 do. That would sound if I was I was fretting both of those. Now, if I wanted to do a, then there's the. time it's a grace note or are you doing so really work on the timing of those slides make sure they're clean make sure you're moving your wrist that way you can also do what's called a double stop so you're doing two fingers at the same time so this second fret on the G first fret B plucking two strings and playing two strings and then sliding them both up. My elbow is not moving. Not this. There's the slide. Then there's the hammer on. thing with a hammer on. Those are quick little grace notes or if I were to pick that. And as you notice with this hand I'm those are all down movements because they're all quarter notes that I'm plucking even though I'm playing sixteenth notes. So the sixteenth notes is the hammer on. If I were to pick it, I'm not going. There we go. Then there's a pull off. Same thing. Down strokes. And you're giving just a little bit of a flick. go down or up. So a slide. There's a scale. 
And that is the intro to Bluegrass Guitar. Uh, hopefully that helps you out. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Uh, drop me a line or uh, respond in the comments below. Happy picking.